Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today, as you can clearly tell, I am filming a vlog, and this is not a reading vlog, per se. It's actually more of a bookshelf building vlog slash reorganizing my bookshelf vlog question mark thing. That's not really a thing, but that's what I'm calling it. So basically, if you didn't know, I am currently in Denver staying with my dad. I filmed a couple of videos here already. You may or may not have seen those. If you haven't, hi, hello, I'm currently in Denver. I'm not at home, so I don't have my bookshelves. <laughs> but while I'm spending time here, I did still want to film because I'm going to be here for some time. And I need like a bookshelf, obviously, if I'm going to film. Like it's not a necessity to film a booktube video with a bookshelf behind you, but I already have like too many books here with me and they don't have any space and I only have one tiny little shelf that my dad had here but because of that I went to Ikea recently and I bought a bookshelf it's not like the Billy bookshelf it's a bit smaller than that one and I think it's like narrower and shorter um, because I don't need like a whole Billy it's just it's not worth it I'm not here for long enough and like it's too big <laughs> but I did get a bookshelf and today I'm gonna spend some time building that bookshelf and then organizing the books that I have with me on that shelf because I have run out of space almost completely on this other tiny bookshelf that I have so I definitely needed this shelf and I'm really excited to put it together I really like putting furniture together it's fun and relaxing to me um, especially when there are like no drawers involved so yeah that's basically what I'm doing today um, and I thought that it would be fun to vlog it I went on Twitter actually and I asked you guys if you would like to see an Instagram live or see a vlog of me putting the bookshelf together and like 90% of people said a vlog so here you go this is that vlog but yeah so I will show you guys the bookshelf that I currently have so this is the bookshelf that that I have right now. As you can see, it's very, very small. It's very short and it doesn't fit many books. I also have a couple more books that still aren't in here yet. So I have to go grab those too. But basically I only have like two shelves worth of space left. And I know that I'm still gonna have like way more books coming. So um, it's not gonna be enough space. And also like all of those are just still on the top. Definitely needed another shelf. So I'm excited to put that one together. This is basically like the little filming room that I have. As you can see, it's just kind of like so Storage, so there's like stuff here um, and then I just like put this light in here so that it could be brighter while I'm filming uh, but yeah it's just like this tiny space so it's nice and private but um, I'm gonna still put the bookshelf on this wall that's my plan I have a feeling it might be too tall I don't know if it is if it is I think I'm gonna go for this wall um, but yeah we'll see let's just like go get the shelf and start putting it together and then we'll organize everything all right so this is the bookshelf and now that I'm looking at it I actually don't think that it's it's too tall I think it'll be fine but yeah I brought some scissors down here so let's get into opening this up I've actually never put like one of these shelves together by myself and I've actually never done like this style of shelf either I don't remember the name but once I open it I'll show you guys um, but it should be okay I have people here to help me if I need it but I don't think it'll be that like difficult I may need to go get a hammer because I didn't grab one and they usually need one for the wooden pegs but it'll be fine so let's get into building this bookshelf <laughs> So just looking at the instructions on this, this is gonna be like super easy. This is like the Billy Bookshelf Simplified and I've put like five of those together. So um, I think that I'll be okay on this. I do, however, need a Phillips head screwdriver and a hammer. So I have to go get those two things. And um, I do also need to eat lunch cause I haven't. So um, I'm probably gonna take a little break go do that and then come back. And then I think I'm gonna listen to some of my audiobook while I build this because I'm not gonna have to pay too much attention. It'll be okay. And I want to keep reading. So we'll turn this into a little mini, mini reading vlog for a little part of it, I guess. <laughs> Currently I am listening to The Night Circus on audiobook. I'm rereading it because I've never listened to the audiobook before. And I am really, really loving being back in this book. Actually, I'm not too big of a fan of the audiobook itself. Jim Dale, the narrator, is also the narrator for the Harry Potter books. And I love his narration in the Harry Potter books, but I don't really like him as a narrator for this book. In my opinion, it doesn't work and it kind of like changes the atmosphere and the vibe of 
of it, um, which I, I don't, I just, I just don't think his voice fits. I think his voice is a bit too like harsh and I don't like the voices he does for the different characters. They just don't fit in my head. Maybe that's because I read the book the first time and didn't like listen to it and it's like affecting like my perception of the characters, but I just don't think this is an audiobook that I personally enjoy. But I've had people tell me that they really like this audiobook and they actually preferred listening to the audiobook than like physically reading the book and it helped them get through it. So that's good. But that goes to show you that like different audiobooks work for different people and I don't think this one works for me. But I love the story like so much that it doesn't really matter since I know it so well too. Um, I'm just happy to listen to it and read it in any way. So I'm having a good time with that. I'm gonna continue doing that while I put this together. But first I'm gonna go get my hammer and my screwdriver, eat lunch and then come back and do all of this. So I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Hello, I am back. So I just had lunch and now I'm ready to continue building this bookshelf while I listen to my audiobook. So let's do that. <laughs> So the bookshelf is done. I finished building it. Now I just have to lift it up and get it up against the wall. So I may go and get my grandmother to help me with that because I don't know if I can lift it by myself. But um, yeah, it's all finished. So let's get it up and see what it looks like. is all done. I did end up picking it up by myself. It was actually a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. I am actually really happy with it. I have a couple of complaints. It's not as nice as the Billy bookshelf and like the Billy is only like $20, $30 more than this. So I would still stick with a Billy bookshelf if you're looking for like a nice white bookshelf. This one was only I think $30. So it's like pretty cheap but it is far narrower and it doesn't have like as many adjustable shelves like I can pick like the distance between the shelves in the Billy bookshelf and on this one I can't and also I don't like the like little lines in the back like board thing of it um but it's okay I don't like mind that much I don't really know why I'm reviewing this bookshelf but um it gets the job done and I'm happy with that so yeah now I think I'm just gonna organize my books I haven't decided exactly how I want to do that and I also have some um lights that I want to put around the bookshelf so it looks a bit prettier unfortunately I don't have any posters or anything yet to put like up next to the bookshelf so that it looks like you know less boring and plain <laughs> um but I'm eventually gonna get something for that too and eventually like decorate it a bit more. But for now this is what I have and I have the lights. So I think I'm gonna go ahead 
and organize the books that I have right now and then I will put the lights up and we'll see what the finished product looks like. filming for a minute because apparently I got another book in the mail and it is Tales from the Inner City. I've never heard of this before but I think it's like a short story collection maybe or an illustrated story because it has a lot of like illustrations in here and it seems pretty cool so um yeah I'm excited to try this out. I love the cover. So thank you so much to Scholastic for sending this to me. I also went upstairs and got some like little decorations and things to put on the shelf because it's always like so empty if I don't have like decorations and I like having decorations on my shelf. So I got this little jar right here that like opens up. I think it's for sugar or something like that and then this like little candle on a candle holder um and then a little like box with other boxes that goes in it. So I have a few things to decorate with too now. So let's see how this all comes together. Other thing that I was just thinking about, I don't know how I wanna decorate this bookshelf yet because clearly I don't have my entire book collection and I can't order it by like series and standalone or like by genre that much since I have like such a limited number. So I'm thinking I kind of wanna do a rainbow again because I used to have a rainbow when I first started making videos and that's because I had like fewer books behind me so it was a lot easier to do that. But I'm also worried that I don't have enough to do a rainbow because I feel like I mostly have like darker books right here. So I don't know if it'll work, but I think I wanna try it. So we're gonna try rainbow and see how that works. And then if that doesn't work, I think I'm probably gonna try and do like genre as best as I possibly can because that's how I prefer to arrange my books. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this all goes. <laughs> As far as I have gotten, if you can see that, I have like a partial rainbow. And now I don't know what to do because I don't like it enough, but like I still want to keep the rainbow, but I don't know how to organize it and I'm just getting frustrated. This is exactly why my shelves haven't been rainbow in like two years because this is literally so overwhelming and difficult. I already spend way too much time trying to organize my bookshelves to make them look the way that I like and having to do that while also making it like color coordinated is the worst, I ugh, I hate it, but it turns out so pretty, but it's just so frustrating. <laughs> anyway, this is what I have so far. I have a couple more books upstairs that I can use to kind of like fill out some space. So I may actually do that because some of them are like in the spaces that I like need more color. So that'll definitely take up some room on the shelf. So I may go and get those and try and fill it out in like a little bit, but I just wanted to like update and let you guys know that like I'm done. <laughs> I'm so tired of this. I just want it to be finished and pretty and, it's not there yet and I'm frustrated. <laughs> I know I'm complaining, but ultimately I think it's gonna come out like looking really nice and it's gonna like add some color to this wall that definitely needs it. And I think the rainbow was a good idea. So uh, that'll be good. And then I'm gonna put the lights up and then we'll see what it looks like when it's all finished. But I think I am gonna take like a bit of a break, probably just like sit down. Maybe actually I will go and get my iced coffee because I started making iced coffee for myself earlier. I have this whole recipe that I talked about one time on Twitter and then I posted an Instagram story about it. So it's literally like a highlight on my Instagram. If you wanna know what my iced coffee recipe is, um, you can go and watch that. But yeah, I'm gonna go get my iced coffee. Maybe that'll give me some energy. It doesn't even have caffeine in it, it's decaf, but I feel like it'll give me energy. <laughs> um, anyway, and then I'll finish putting this together um, and hopefully it won't be as frustrating anymore. So let's see if I can do that. Okay. I did it. I also got my iced coffee, which I ended up leaving in the freezer for too long on accident. And now it's kind of like slushy and it tastes like a slushy, but it's really good. Um, but I ended up finishing it and I didn't film because I was getting way too frustrated, but it is done and I am actually very happy with it. All right, so as you all can see, I completed the rainbow. 
This shelf was definitely the most difficult for me to do because I didn't have enough blues and greens, um, but I ended up getting some books for my grandmother, so it filled in some space. And then we have like this blackish, purplish kind of shelf. And then at the very bottom, we have like brownish, grayish, and blackish, and then my journal's just on the end. And then the bottom shelf has nothing right now. <laughs> um, but there, there it is. It's all done, and I'm very happy with it. All right, so now all that's left to do is to put the lights up on the bookshelf. So I'm gonna do that while I listen to more of my audiobook and drink my iced coffee. But I do need to go and get an extension cord because the plug does not reach close enough to this bookshelf. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna finish it off and I can't wait to see what it finally looks like with all the lights and everything. It's gonna be really pretty. And then I feel like I'm really, really gonna enjoy this room and my filming space, especially once I get some posters up. It's gonna be really cute and I can't wait. I am done with the bookshelf. I attached the lights. I ended up going with these um, battery operated like black ones, uh, which are different than the ones that I have at home. The ones I have at home are like regular like Christmas lights basically. Um, but these are smaller and they're battery operated and it was easier to use. They didn't have white ones and I'm really sad, but I think the black actually looks pretty nice. I think it adds a little bit more dimension to this and I actually like it, so I'm happy with it. But yeah, now I have my own little bookshelf and it feels so nice to have this. It feels like I'm at home, so I feel more comfortable. Um, I actually do have some of those like white Christmas lights as well. And I think I'm gonna like hang those up like on the wall across the room so that this like room is also just a little bit nicer and like cozier and more me too. Um, and then like put another rug down in here so that the echo kind of starts to go away. And I don't know, maybe decorate it a little bit more. Again, like I said, I am gonna have to get some posters to put on these walls so they're less boring and plain. But for now, this is a good start and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. <laughs> so that's basically it for me building my bookshelf. Um, but I don't really feel like ending the vlog here. I still feel like hanging out with you guys for like a little bit more. And I still just feel like vlogging. Also, you guys always ask me to vlog, so I may as well do it while I'm currently vlogging. <laughs> I may just turn the end of this into a reading vlog and keep on reading The Night Circus because I'm just like really in the mood to listen to the rest of that book. I love it so much and I forgot how much I loved it. And I still think it's probably my favorite book of all time. I don't know, there's just like some Thing about it that makes me really really happy to go back and I just feel like I'm at home when I'm reading that book so uh, yeah it's been really nice um, so I may just make the rest of this vlog me listening to that book and then like checking in with you guys or I may end up reading something else too because I'm in the middle of a couple other books um, but yeah we'll see I may do a Q&A too who knows um, who knows where this vlog will take us but I hope you enjoy the ride <laughs> hate loud cars. <laughs> so I decided to come outside so I can listen to some more of my audiobook. I'm gonna listen to more of The Night Circus. Um, I think I have like seven hours or something of it left. I don't know, but I'm listening to this one on a slower speed than I usually listen to books. Um, I'm listening to it on 1.5 instead of like two double speed um, because I just, I wanna take my time with it. Um, so it's taking me a bit longer to finish, but I'm okay with that because I love this book with all of my heart. So I decided to come outside, like I said. So I'm sitting out here, I'm with puppies puppy number one rufus say hello that's rufus and then this is lucky majestic as always um i'm sitting out here with them and i'm gonna like play ball with them for a little bit while i listen to my book and um they can run around and have some fun so yeah i'm just gonna sit here do that and chill Good boy.
Hi, baby. Hi, pretty baby. So majestic. Hello everyone. So it is actually quite a bit later. Um, I didn't finish listening to The Night Circus. I read like a decent amount of it. I think I have about four or five hours of the audiobook left. So I listened to like another three or so hours. Um, and I'm really, really loving my reading like experience of it this time as well. Again, like I said at the beginning of this video, I don't really like this audiobook too much. Like I just don't think Jim Dale is the right narrator for this book. Um, so that is actually like affecting it a little bit. But I am remembering like how much I love this world and these characters and the writing and I'm just like falling in love with the book all over again. But that being said, I am kind of tired of listening to the book for now and I kind of wanted a change of pace. I ended up going out actually a little bit earlier to dinner. So I just went out to dinner and I just got back home. Um, and now I think I'm gonna sit here and um, finish off my day by watching Sierra Burgess is a Loser. I think that's the name of the movie that just came on Netflix. And I'm really excited to watch it. I've been wanting to watch it for a while. Hello, hi, Hannah from the future here. I just wanted to give you an update. Um, I watched the movie and it's pretty terrible. Do not recommend. Thoroughly disappointed. I literally ranted about it on Twitter because I was so upset. But yeah, very, very disappointing. Didn't like it at all. Anyway, back to the video. So I think I'm going to sit here and um, just like watch it on my little TV down here. Don't mind this thousand piece Van Gogh puzzle that's here that I still haven't finished yet. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna sit here, relax and watch the movie. I also have a vegan chocolate chip cookie that's calling my name upstairs. So I'm probably gonna eat that for dessert and um, watch this movie and just enjoy the rest of my night. But I think that's where I'm pretty much gonna end this vlog. Um, I'm sorry if it was like boring. I just basically like wanted to put my bookshelf together and show you guys like how I organize my books and everything. So I hope that it was at least somewhat entertaining like I mentioned, I am staying here for a little while, so expect some videos in that room with that background. Um, and I will be back to my like regular like setup with my bookshelves and everything in a couple of months. So um, yeah, it's gonna be just like a bit of a change for a little while, but I hope you all don't mind. I have also mentioned a couple of times recently, mostly on Instagram, that um, I will be doing a video kind of explaining like what's been going on in my life recently uh, because I haven't really told you all really. Um, and a lot has changed for me. So um, I have been wanting to just like sit down and film a video about it and just like talk to you guys and be open and just tell you exactly what's happening because I feel like it's something I personally like need to do. I know I don't owe anyone an explanation, but like it's something I have been wanting to talk about for a while. But yeah, um, that's for a different video. Anyway, uh, I hope you all enjoyed watching this vlog. I hope that it was fun for you. I hope you enjoyed watching me put together my bookshelf and enjoyed seeing how I decided to organize it. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links will be in the description box down below. But that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!